hook I'm using, this is a Partridge hook. Size 14, it's the Clint Camera Extreme. It's basically, gives the right shape that you're looking for in the Clint Camera. Positions everything the way you want. And it obviously helps you form a nice fly. Gets a, the fly looks really nice when it's tied on it. Now, thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread and tan and 8 o. First thing I'm going to do is just put some wax onto the thread. Maybe need a bit of oil onto the bottom. Stop the squeaking. But anyway, start our thread at the eye and just work our way down. I'm just going to go by the elbow of the hook, that elbow of the shape of the style of the hook, around about a mil, mil and a half, and then bring the thread back up about halfway. And that should give me the position for the wing. Now for the wing itself, I'm using a poly yarn, a white poly yarn. There we are. It's a single strand or so. Now I'm going to catch it basically a length about just under an inch or so, forward of the eye. Down about three turns or so. And then I'm going to trim away the excess, leaving again the same same amount. Then I'm going to basically put turns underneath to lock these in. Quick figure eight, and you'll find that's solid. That's it positions the wing really well for you. Then I'm going to get myself a blue done hackle. This is from a Mets cape. Uh, grade 2 saddle, you could few feathers or a few capes out there you could use. Just like the length, check it, it's okay. So catch this on the side. Just take it obviously bear some of the stem and then I'm going to post the hackle and the wing at the same time. Take all the way up. Looking round a good again, another good mill and a half or so. Enough to get at least five turns of the hackle. Come back down, bring a thread to the back of the wing, and tie down the remains of the stem. Nice and tight. See how it looks. Show you get the right position and mount that you like. That's fine. Then we take the thread turns all the way down. Keep going until. Basically, I, I usually start with this style of hook in line with the point of the hook. So the thread turn should be in line with the tip, the point, and that's it. And then get yourself a nice, a nice tan dubbin. And there's lots out there. This here's a, a mix. Uh, it's SLF, and basically a bit, of, I like a wee bit of rabbit or so. And you've got the shine of the SLF and the glisten from it. And then you've got the dense part of the of the rabbit, which basically helps to drop the fly, sits nice in the water. It's very good for a an emerging type fly. So you can dump this on. Now the aim here is to form a nice tapered body or a carrot shaped body. Let me slide this up. And then basically as we go, just stretch out the dubbin if we need to or leave it quite heavy. We can slightly overlap the last turn again just to help build up the shape that we want. And then if we tighten the body, just twist the, the dubbing a wee bit tighter as you go. Let's see. It's nice and neat. That's okay. Trim away any of the longer fibres. It's up to sell when you do this, you can leave them. Sometimes they do like a rougher fly. So you can see the shape of the the body. I'm just gonna take away the excess. And there we are. Now I'm just gonna go back a turn or so, because that's just a wee bit too far. Now you can always go back at this point. If you're not happy, it's, it's easy to go back. I'm just going to take a wee drop of dubbin, you see there off. But then I'm going to go back a turn, tighten it back up so it doesn't come loose, and then tie it down. And then take away that wee drop, the wee, ex, wee bit of excess. Now I'm going to get some peacock hair. You're looking for three strands. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. 
First thing I do is line them up the ends, trim them away, bring it in, take the thread down towards the eye, tying these, these ends in, all the way down. And come back up because I'm actually going to finish off at the back here. Just this point here. So I'm going to tie off. Now, peacock header is not the strongest material in the world. So to make it last that wee touch longer, what I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit of super glue in here. Now you could wind your thread over the top, which will give you, again, a lot of protection. And I do do that as well just to make it so you can see what I'm doing taking the herald down the three strands together going back up just going to do another figure eight through the wing and end up with the herald at the back come in with your thread turns basically onto the, the, the body the tanned area and then that should be enough to lock it in and there we go and then take your thread up right to the back of the wing. Now what you can do here is change the position of the hook or you can wind your hackle, form your parachute and then catch the thread underneath. But the the easiest way is basically to drop the hook, basically take out the vise and have the point of the eye face the floor. So it's very important that you end up with the thread at this, the back of the wing, so that if you're at the front, it would just fall off the eye. This way, this stops it falling off and it will sit that way. Now, change the position of the hook and face, as I said, the eye towards the floor, making sure the thread is basically this side of the wing. And as you can see, it sits no problem, it will not fall off, basically because you've obviously posted the wing and the hackle. Then all you're going to do is wind your hackle, down a turn, next one should be underneath that, and then again underneath. You keep doing that until you get enough hackle. Now as I say, you're looking for at least five, depending on how big the fly is, obviously the more you need. That, that should be enough. Bring the thread tight against the body. Just take your time making sure that you don't basically come underneath the, the hook make sure the thread turns on this side any fibres that you may have caught just draw them up and that should do it and then what I'm going to do is just move the the fly towards or up the point up to myself and then trim away the hackle and then what I'm going to do is tie basically whip finish at the same point Lift it out, and I'm going to do it by hand. I find that doing it by hand is easier. I can just take my time, making sure everything stays underneath. Just watch the wing, just making sure there's hackle out of the way. It is a bit fiddly. you just got to take your time. You're looking at least, I would say, four. It's going to make sure it's going to stay there. I come in, I'm just using my foot finishing tool just to grab the thread turns or the, the loop of the foot finish so that sometimes because of the twist of the thread it will kink up and using a dubbing needle or as in this case I'm using my foot finishing tool stops that just tighten up come in, trim away your thread yeah. a wee quick look That's fine. Then, basically what I would use now, I would, instead of using varnish, try using the, the bug bond, and this is the light. And what I'm going to do here is put some on my desk and use my dubbing needle to get really in to where the, the whip finish is. Now you can lift these hackle fibres, just wipe it into the roots, the light will spread no problem, it sits in really well. Now before you hit it with the UV torch, get your hackle to sit in the position that you like. 
and then set the resin all the way around. It doesn't take long to set. Even if you want to put a wee drop into this area here, you can do that as well. But I find it never I've never had one pull off or the hack will unravel. So and then we'll reposition the hook and we'll put the hook back into the vice in a normal way. And we just trim the wing. Now the wing normally I just take it, pull it down, it's in line with the back of the hook, and that's the area I trim. And there we are. Just tidy up a little bit better. And there you are, and that's your, your clink hammer. Tied as far as I believe as it should be. And and the colour combination that I know works extremely well and for a lot of tank artists and so on it comes off. But is you, you can tie this fly in different colour combinations and it'll still work. But as I say, this is the original Clink Hammer Special, a fly worth tying in all sizes because it will work for you. And I hope you enjoyed that.